This is, uh, this is Kevin Armel home farm on, um, on, the, on the north side of the Thin Peninsula near Tidwiliog, uh, which is where I was born and brought up. I don't actually live down here now, I live sort of further, further, further east. Um, but uh, I've been farming here for 18 years. Um, we converted it from a beef and sheep farm to a um, uh, milk, milk from grazed grass, a spring block calving milk from grazed grass, rotationally grazed system. We operate the farm with, uh, with share farmers, so the guy who runs the farm, he owns a percentage of the cows. Uh, we milk Jersey, Jersey, Cross, Jersey Cross cows uh, with a focus on producing um, milk solids, uh, butter, fat and protein, for, for, which is all about cheese making. There's a block here uh, that's about 560 hectares, of which about 320 is effective farmland. Uh, and then, and then the rest is woodland. Some of it uh, deciduous, sort of policy policy woodlands, and some um, some Sitka plantation. Um, so uh, the the deciduous woods are probably sort of slightly overrun with Ponticum, which probably was put down for pheasant shooting 100, 120 years ago. Um, so we've we've begun some eradication programs. So these, these are the, these are the, um, uh, the, the, the woodlands at Kavamoch uh, on the mountain, quite an exposed site, um, exposed to the prevailing westerly winds, but it's damp and mild here, they go, they go fairly well. Um, uh, they have, it's been Sitka spruce, single, single species, single age, and um, we are, we've just begun a, a, a management, um, management system called continuous cover forestry whereby we are never going to do any more clear felling. So we've been cutting racks um, to take out sort of little and often, and then we'll probably do some enrichment and um, putting other species in there. Um, so we want, um, we want multiple levels of biodiversity, you know, upper canopy, middle canopy, and lower canopy. Um, at the moment, it's either um, lower, middle, or, or upper. That's all, that's all there is. Um, and as you can see underneath, there's nothing, nothing much goes on. Uh, underneath these trees and uh, we want to improve that make it a better habitat um, our, our you know one of our primary objectives is better habitat for the woodcock in, you know in the initial stages it's a bit it looks a bit brutal but you can see why we want to um, change what it what, what you know what's going on in the understory so the idea of this is that you cut these racks in and you come in and sort of and thin little, 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 little and often. Um, and uh, and that, you know, so then, then you'll get better, better specimens within the, within the woods. Uh, you're bringing a bit more light in in various places. So you get, a, get, some, get some regen, um, uh, natural regeneration. Um, and um, so, yeah, so you create a mixed, um, a, a, more, a more mixed, um, a more mixed habitat. It's a long-term, long-term project this, but uh, it's one that we're very excited about. I need to get different different conifers in here as well, possibly possibly some hardwoods, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, um, get some western red cedar. So we'll do a little bit of enrichment, and uh, and then the theory is that um, things um, self seed. You can just hear now. You can just hear the bird life here that is, is you know not <laughs> usual to a, a, a monoculture no. Or woodland. No. No, you're right. You can hear the bird life. That is true. Um, it's obviously opened the ground up for and um, they can feed on these these rides already before anything comes through it. Yeah. The system than he read, they can man a lot play a boys are at any well, um, what play intensive. So, I mean, a glucky claim states is a player problem, a health problem, so we can't run on cow. Yeah, we're on yaka can we let so the bravi well come on longevity of system. Um, I should but average age of the chess and rich hen pim quam and a light possip. So, I mean, and dangers for what I've been in there with now.
Man kan även låta bara när man är man i det känns det system. Ram ska nåt det är ja det fyra av de jag nån man kör. Och det här är kanske inte en profitjal. Man kan inte system. Är det en bred singuifjal man tar ifrån. Är man väldigt bra vi. Det är det det känns det vem ett så. Att inte när ram ska nåt. Och man kan inte låta mor än det var att jag man kostar input som är vänne 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 bara blir den a perfect man hittar inte alla planet så nu betalar jag så säkert och ni var den self sufficient profitjal ägen att jag råder om gilchet väl ja man pappa är det kallade kan inte We've got another smaller farm that we're going to be starting an experiment next year because this is a, this is a big old ship to turn. But um, hopefully we will be beginning on this farm at some stage in the future too. Um, we're basically going to be going to be um, grazing grazing slightly slightly more mature plants, getting the roots deeper, um, and um, yeah, it's, it's a whole sort of it's a whole whole new and different way of grazing, um, which we're which we're excited about. Pandarian parir herbal ways or DJM fields. Mae'r ein bach o gwrs bym sy'n rhoi'n ffaint o bryfyd ag adar sy'n y gwmpas jyst yn y cae yna. Ellyn ni'n bori i'r cae dros nesaf a dros yn byd y gwmpas. A dwi'n meddwl ddarol am nadwy, dwi'n dwi'n ni'n sbiad yr ochr natur o beth yr llawer o blaen. Ond mae wedi gwneud yn rhoi'n agor i llygyd tuag ato. At the moment, these fields get grazed every 21 days. It's all about the rye grass and the cows. Um, and um, we don't leave much space for anything else. Um, and we'd like to we'd like to change that whilst maintaining um, a productive, profitable farming system. As farmers, we we're genetically predisposed to um, to to produce food, um, but I think uh, I think we need to learn to produce more than just that.